Hey there, it's Jay. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if you haven't been here before. Um, so it's a rainy, gloomy day in the New York area, and so I figured I'd stay inside, do a Photoshop tutorial, with the focus being on processing a fine art architectural image. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss future videos. Uh, I'm going to work on this image today. This is a tower in Tokyo, Rapongi Hills. I was there last year on business. I took my camera, took a bunch of shots, uh, and I like this shot. I like the balance, the curvature of the building, the angles, the lines, you know, the overall composition, but it was a pretty flat day from a light standpoint, and the sky was really boring. So what I want to do is turn this image into this image, and I'm going to show you how I do it from scratch. Now, there's a lot of ways of doing the same thing in Photoshop. And so if you have a different way of doing some things uh, or a better way, make sure you do put a comment down below. That would be, uh, that'd be helpful to me and to others. Um, I also assume you know something about Photoshop. This is not really, really basic. It's not terribly complex, but knowing something about Photoshop probably is going to help you a little bit. Now, I've already made a number of selections uh, to help with the workflow and to save some time. People do ask me, how do you make these selections? And uh, it depends on the image. In this case, for the sky, I chose the, uh, the quick select tool. The sky is very defined with some hard edges. It worked pretty well. For pieces of the building, I chose the polygonal lasso tool, which these are mostly straight lines. You know, it was a tough in some parts, but overall worked pretty well. The tools I'll be using, really just two different adjustment layers, uh, an exposure adjustment layer and a curves adjustment layer, and then beyond that, just the gradient tool. And those th really three things allow me to accomplish this. So let's get started. I'm going to start by darkening the sky. And what that does, it allows the building to pop even more. To darken the sky, I'm going to use an exposure adjustment layer. I'm going to just pull back on this um, on the slider, I don't want to go all the way black. I'm going to leave a little bit of gray in there, you know, something like that. But you can see the building really does pop when you darken the sky. The next section I want to work on is the curved part of the main tower, and so I'm going to choose that. Um, to do that, I'm going to be using uh, a curves adjustment layer and the gradient tool. Let's start with a curves adjustment layer. First thing is to brighten up the entire selection. And you can see the whole selection is, is becoming quite a bit brighter by pulling up on this line. Um, I want to reselect it, go to my gradient tool, use the reflected gradient tool. Got to make the, the foreground white, which it is. And if you pull out from the center, you can see that center part of the building becomes brighter and there's a fall off to the outside. And it really highlights the curvature of the building. To accentuate that even more, I'm going to, uh, I've reselected it. I want to choose another curves adjustment layer, drag down this time, which is going to darken the entire selection. Uh, once again, reselect. Got my uh, gradient tool. I need to change the foreground to white to black from, from white. I can pull out from the outside. And so this is going to keep that middle bright, but darken the outside of the image a bit, which again accentuates the curvature even more. That looks pretty good to me. Uh, I can deselect this piece. You hit Command D on a Mac, by the way, as a shortcut. Uh, next section I'm going to work on is this strip on the far left side. And so I want to uh, select it. This is a small piece of it, but I want it to pop a little bit more. And again, I'll use a Curves Adjustment layer. I can drag up to brighten it up. Um, in fact, I want the top to be a little bit brighter than the bottom. And so, similarly, I can reselect, choose a gradient tool. This time, I'll use the Linear Gradient tool. I want the foreground to be white, and I can drag down from the top, and I can achieve that. Uh, next section is this angled piece on the right side. And so, I want to load that selection. And I'm going to gradient here as well. And I'm going to start with a curves adjustment layer and drag up to brighten the entire selection. Reselect, 
choose my gradient tool, which is already selected. I'm going to use the linear gradient tool. I want the left side to be brighter than the right, and so I'm going to pull up from the left to the right, uh, and you start to see that gradient. And again, to highlight it a bit more, I'm going to choose a gradient, uh, excuse me, a curves adjustment layer again, this time dragging down, which is darkening the entire selection. I need to reselect and just go the other way. I'm going to pull down from, uh, from the right, and you really start to see that, that gradient emerge. And you can play with it a bit again. Um, but here's the <clears throat> before, fairly flat. Here's the after. Last piece I want to work on is this panel on the lower part of the image. I kind of like this piece. I left it there intentionally. I think it, it sort of uh, it sets the stage, essentially, for the, for the tower itself. And so I'm making that selection. And I want a bit of a gradient here. I'm going to start with Curves Adjustment Layer, pull up to brighten up the entire selection. This time I want the right side to be brighter. And so all I do is uh, reselect it. Go to my gradient tool, which is already selected, pull over from the right, and I get that, that nice gradient and the contrast in that selection. Last thing I can do is for the entire image, choose a gradient tool, just add a little bit of contrast overall. And as you know, it's really an S curve, right? You want to pull down on the left, pull up on the right, and you get that, that overall contrast. So this is really what I came up with. Um, if you have questions on this, please put a comment down below. It's really helpful. And again, if you want to see future videos, do make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and I look forward to, uh, to showing you future videos in, in the near future. Take care.